Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make this um, content rating symbol. Uh, just something cool that I thought you guys would like to um, see. So all we're going to do is um, you would normally go to you know create your new image and then create it roughly 720 by 480 is um, the, roughly the size that it needs to be. Um, but uh, instead of doing that, because I, I want to use this as reference so you all can see any, uh, actually see me build it right in front of you, I'm just going to use this um, area. But you would not do this first step, which is to simply drag out the rectangular marquee tool into the shape of the um, uh, little symbol. So, But basically, guys, you're going to go in here. You're going to go ahead and use your paint bucket tool and fill it with black like so. You're then going to go to select, modify, and contract it by five pixels depending on the size of your um, document of course and go ahead and hit your down arrow and your right arrow once or twice you're then gonna go ahead and fill it with white and then you're gonna do the exact same thing go to select modify contract but this time you're going to use it on 10 pixels um, which kind of creates that white border and then you're going to fill that with black okay now once you have that you then need to use your marquee tool and you're just going to come in here and click and drag out your selection here so that you have a little bit of space on the top and the bottom section kind of like this and then make sure that that's centered so that you have the same amount of space between the black here and the black here and then you're going to go ahead and grab your uh, marquee tool, hold down Alt so that you can minus the selection. You're going to come over here and because your M is going to go in between here and you need to get rid of this little space here. So you have two selections essentially. And then you're going to go ahead and fill those with white like that. And once you've done that, it's time to go ahead and start making some text. So I'm going to go ahead and type in mature 17 plus. We're going to go ahead and make that be around 36. Arial is usually the default font, and it's usually on strong and bold. Um, it's going to be a little bit different for, for every single one, but it's within reason of it being pretty close. And I actually need to make all of these capitals. M-A-T-U-R-E, 17. And probably make that a little bit smaller, like that. And then also put this back onto sharp. And that looks pretty good there. So right there. All right. And so then we're going to copy this and bring it down to the bottom here because we're going to need to then change this text to say ESRB content rating. And we're then going to use the um, window here where we're actually going to be uh, adjusting the spacing in between each each of these letters we're gonna bring this down a little bit more so it's about like that um, and put that on to regular and then put this on strong and that looks pretty close to what it's supposed to be so we'll leave that there so then we're gonna go ahead and create the M and so we're gonna make that be black up that to around 72 probably even bigger and bold that bring that up into here and I don't have the sizing done perfectly but it's okay rotate the M a little bit and it's probably gonna be around that and then we need to click and drag in here and we're going to put blood intense violence and strong language drop these down to say 48 for right now put that back on to regular and then reset this so that it's back to zero and it needs to be even smaller so about like that and bring that down like so All right. so about like that last thing we need to do is put the TM in the top corner make that smaller Put that over in the right hand corner and then we need to make the www.esrb.org text gonna make that be bold a little bit bigger about like that 
put that over there. And there you go, guys. That's how to make the basic um, ESRB content rating symbol. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.